Hi everyone um, and welcome back to my vlogs. Um, so this video was in, in, in collaboration with Teo who does a lot of things for activism in the summer community and yeah I hope you enjoy. Um, this is Teo um, and would you like to introduce yourself? Hi yes I'm Teo, uh, I'm a student, I'm a writer and I'm part of the co-leader as part of the Summer Arts Network um, so yeah that's me. Awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, so um, um, really excited to be um, collaborating on this on this on on this vlog with you. Um, so yeah, so um, first thing I wanted to um, to dive into was um, like how 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 do you feel about your about your stammer? Definitely. Um, so yeah, my stammer has been a journey for me since I started stammering since from primary school. It's been a journey of like self discovery and acceptance. From the beginning, I kind of felt it was a hindrance. No one ever knew about my stammer apart from my immediate family. Um, but since joining Stammer, I've kind of been more confident about it. And instead of a hindrance, I felt proud to have a stammer, especially going to Stammer Fest, meeting all these other people around the world who have a stammer as well. I honestly, when I was younger, I felt it was just myself. I was the only one in the world that had it because no one I saw on TV or an immediate family had it. And so it was really, it's a really, it was a really weird experience. It was a really lovely experience. So yeah, my summer journey has become, it's, it's coming better. Now and again, you do feel down um, when you have job interviews or something that you feel like, oh my God, I stabbed so much. They, 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 they noticed. But as I grow older, I think I've become to accept it. Um, 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 um. Um, um, thank you for that. Um, yeah, but, um, like it's um, amazing that, that you're now more confident and and are proud, are proud about your stammer. I've had, I've had some messages ever since I've created, um, ever since, so ever since I've created my stammer Instagram, I've had messages saying, I can cure your stammer. Um, you know, I can, I can help you and things like that. And it's made me quite, I'm like a bit uncomfortable. I've just Sometimes I have responded, sometimes I've just ignored it, but have you ever had anyone say that to you or have you come across a similar thing? Because I've kind of been, until like, especially this year, more, more so this year, I've kind of kind of kept my stomach under wraps until like my friends and immediate people, but online, I've seen people who've posted videos and underneath the comments would be, oh my God, you can just, just speak or go to speech therapy, I can cure a stomach, it's not that hard. Some of these silly, silly questions and like people are like proclaiming that they can cure them to go in this course or um, go to the speech therapist. Um, as, as we both know, there's no cure to stammering and there shouldn't be a cure. It's something we both accept. We both accept it's part of us for life and that's fine. Um, but no, I'm just so, I'm so upset to, to hear that you've had those kind of trolls under your video saying this really stupid things because it's just ridiculous. I think it, I think it also like kind of shows the misinformation and like um people not knowing much about stammering because if people think it's a cure as we know there's no cure to stammering um and so I think stammering is becoming more hopefully normalized yes I also like I also feel like um I it's not it's not a problem that needs to be cured that like when people think something that needs to be cured that means there was a problem in the mm. first place and it's okay to speak differently um, um and um yeah so the last thing I want to talk about because obviously when we're talking about like curing stammering and things like that because I personally had been to a speech therapy when I was um when I was in primary school from the ages of like 10 to 12 um and I think there are positives to to speech therapy um and how um I'm interested to know about what you think of it and how you can like relate it to how people are saying like curing Definitely. Yes, I, I also went to speech therapy from a young age when I was in primary school as well. And I it kind of helped me develop as a person. I was a very shy, introverted child. Going to speech therapy kind of helped a, a routine for me. So I, I think it helped me, but what I wish I did after primary school is I wish I followed it through. Many people who through adulthood and teenagehood, they still do speech therapy I wish I, I didn't just stop it and because I didn't speak much as a child um I think going to somewhere like speech therapy definitely helped me open 
over my shell a bit. Um, but yeah, do you have any um um do you have any like final comments about it about anything to do with what we've spoken about? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just say like keep doing what you're doing and like keep doing all the videos. I I watch your videos all the time. Keep doing what you're doing because it's amazing. Um, I, I'm I'm glad that the reach is going out there that people are commenting even if it's silly because. Hopefully they can be educated about it next time you put another video out. So they can actually research, okay, what is stammering? And they can maybe research about stammer, what you what you do as well. And so, yeah, I just help. I just, this starts a conversation, whether people will um, choose to follow it or not, but it starts a conversation, which would be good or bad. Um, I hope people go into the next year and more educated about stammering. Thank you so much. Teo, um, I also think what you've been doing with um, that Stammer Arts Network is also amazing as well, and also being part of the um, youth panel. Um, so also keep up the good work as well. Um, and yeah, thank you, thank you for for joining me for this vlog. Um, so and I hope hope to speak it. We'll speak again soon. Thank you. Yes, definitely. All right. Thank you. Thank you.